a tennis ball was two feet off the ground. You can see right here, it's two feet off the ground. Say two feet off the ground. Two feet off the ground. Yeah, the y-intercept, another word for y-intercept, say y-intercept, y is starting point. Write that down, starting point. So the y-intercept in real life, in real life, is the starting point. And so let's go back. A tennis ball was two feet off the ground when a tennis player hit it. So the ball traveled up in the air before coming back to the ground. <clears throat> the height of the tennis ball is described by the graph shown. Numbers along the x-axis represent time. So it's the amount of seconds that are passing. After the ball was hit. And the numbers along the y-axis represent the what? The height. The height. So these numbers tell you how high up and down the ball went, okay? So we, we've read all that, and we still don't even know what they want us to tell them. Use the graph to estimate the average rate of change. Now, what did I tell you that day rate of change means? Slope. So they want to know the slope for the first 0.25 seconds. So slope for the first 0.25 seconds means from zero to what? To 0.25. So they want to know what was the slope from zero to what? 0.25. They want to know what the slope was from zero to what? 0.25. So let's write two points. Okay, the point zero is how high? Two. Okay. So you've got the point zero and up how many? Two. And then you've got point two five and what? So those are our two points. Zero, two, and then point two five and five. And so if you find the slope between those two points, you will have told the average rate of change. Okay, so I got these two points right here. And I need to find the what? Slope. Say slope. slope. I wrote down on the thing, slop. We want <laughs> slope. So I need to label my points, don't I? This is X1 and Y what? Say one. And this is X2 and what? And so my slope formula says what? Y2 minus y1 good so now let's do that so I've got y2 which is 5 minus y1 which is 2 over x2 which is 0.25 minus x1 which is 0 now what's 5 minus 2 so I've got 3 over 0.25 which is the same thing as 1 fourth right is 0.25 the same thing as 1.4? Yes. That's like a quarter out of a dollar, right? So now, if I wanted to do this without the calculator, if I have a fraction on bottom of a fraction, what do I do to get it on top? Say flip it. Flip it. So this is the same as 3 times 4 over 1. Well, 4 over 1 is just what? 4. So the answer is going to be 12. The slope is 12. Now, if you typed in your calculator... 3 divided by a fourth, or if you typed in 3 divided by 0.25, it's going to give you 12. Yeah. I just want you to understand how to do it without a calculator. So now let's go find which one says 12. Which one is it? C. So C is the answer.